I originally wrote about Jesus' miracles as if they were metaphor and allegory. We weren't really supposed to believe that the miracles were real. We weren't supposed to believe that they were physical miracles. We weren't really supposed to believe that Jesus fed 5,000 people with a couple of loaves of bread and some fish. And then our little boy Shane was born with a life-threatening illness. We were told that he would not live through the night. I found myself putting into practice this idea of prayer in a way that I had never practiced it before. He spent the next three weeks in intensive care. Shane regenerated all of the organs in his body and three weeks later we took Shane out of the neonatal intensive care unit as a perfectly healthy newborn. For me, watching Shane create physical miracles was entirely transformational. It made me realize that one of the great lessons I was here to learn and that I was here to share was that miracles are not allegory. Miracles are not metaphor. Miracles are real. Miracles are physical things that we can manifest in our lives every single day through faith and through love. My new book is called The Source of Miracles, Seven Powerful Steps to Transform Your Life Through the Lord's Prayer. There are so many people out there who are struggling and they don't need to be. Everyone can create their own miracles. We're standing in front of a labyrinth. The concept of the labyrinth is very much like life. You know, you walk a, a path that's very circuitous. You walk a path where you don't always know where the turns are going to take you. The important spiritual metaphor of the labyrinth is that as long as you stay on your path, you will always find your way to the center where God awaits you. So in my book, The Source of Miracles, I take you through this extraordinary transformational prayer process utilizing the Lord's Prayer and breaking the Lord's Prayer down into the teachings as they are broken down in the petals. So for example, the first petal represents faith. The second petal represents surrender. The third petal represents service. The fourth is abundance. The fifth is forgiveness. And the sixth is overcoming obstacles. When you can accomplish all six of those things in your life, you will find that you ultimately are transformed. This process has been so transformational in my life. I wake up every day excited to be alive and, and thrilled to be in the world and you know, so excited to share that feeling with so many people out there.